in this video I will show you how to install shaders for the farming simulator 25. The first thing you want to do is download the shaders of course. Just click on the button right here. The next thing you want to do is Google Reshade. Click on the first link. It's reshade.me. Click on download on this right here. Select where it should be downloaded. Now you want to head into your downloads folder and you should have these two files right here. Reshade, setup exe and the shader zip. Now you want to extract the shader zip file. And now it's basically useless. You, you could delete it if you want to. Now you want to double click on the reshade setup exe. And you might see farming simulator in this list of games right here, but you don't want to click on any of those because these are the wrong, the wrong versions and it won't work. So you need to click on browse, go to this PC, the drive where farming simulator is installed. Then go to steam library, steam apps, common farming simulator x64 and then click on farming simulator 2025 game exe and click on next click on direct x 10 11 or 12 and then you want to click on uncheck all and check all so every effect that is available will be installed then click on next this might take a while it's just installing all the effects and then you click on finish now you want to go into the shader folder and copy both of those files just click on copy make sure you have both of them and now you want to go to this pc the drive for farming simulator is installed go to steam library steam apps common farming simulator x64 and now you can paste the files that you just copied in here you can also just drag and drop them in here from your download folder now you want to start farming simulator and go into any single player world and you now want to open the reshade menu it might be a single button on your keyboard or on your numpad if it's on your numpad, you need to make sure that the numlock light isn't glowing and then press seven. And if you have a smaller keyboard, like 60% or something, you can maybe do it by pressing the FN key on your keyboard and any other, it's probably a key combination. If you're still having trouble with opening the reshape menu, what you can do is go into your files, this PC, Drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Farming Simulator, X64, basically where Reshade is installed, and then click on the Reshade Ini with the editor. Um, you can also right click on it, open with, and then editor. Uh, now you want to search for key overlay and where it says 36 you can change it to 122 and this will change the key from home to f12 and then you just save it and maybe you need to restart your game so now you want to open the reshade menu and select the right shader don't be confused mine are named differently just select the one you downloaded and now what you want to do is go to the next tab right here and select match custom width and height exactly put your monitor resolution in here if you don't know the resolution of your monitor you can go into the settings of your pc you can go to system screen and then you can see the resolution of your monitor right here and you basically want to enter the higher number first and the lower after then select all right here check this box and 
down here there will be um, like four resolutions and you want to click on the first one that matches your resolution. The next settings are optional but I would highly recommend them. Here you can uh, in the next tab you can change the key that opens this menu. You can also select a key that will enable and disable the shader whenever you want. And most importantly, you can select keys for the previous and next shader preset. So if you have a rainy preset like me, you can just press a button and it will load the rainy preset in and you can easily go back. Important note, uh, every time you load into a new world or restart the game, you need to take the resolution again. And uh, I've heard from some people with an AMD graphics card or people that use frame generation that the bezel boom might generate some weird squares on your screen. So if you have trouble with that, just disable the bezel boom or disable frame generation in the game settings. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that this video helped.